welcome back to the Firefly Studio 67. Uh, I want to say thank you to all of my new subscribers for deciding to join my community and a warm welcome to everybody who's been with me for a while. I appreciate each of you so very much. Um, today we're going to jump in and make these expandable coin envelopes for our journals and I absolutely love these. I think there's just such a nice addition to the journals. Um, this is um, a journal I'm working on <clears throat> at the present, so I'll just show you how these are going to look inside there. And I love the size of this because you guys know I tend to work in the four by six or five by seven journals, and sometimes uh, when I see ephemera. The dimensions just don't really work for me, and I end up having to then tweak it. And uh, so this is great because these, as I said, that's a four by six, and that works perfectly because it ends up a three and a quarter by four and a half <coughs> size envelope. So what you could do, this could be free floating throughout the journal, or um, I'll probably glue. I'll probably glue the three sides down and have a pocket here. You open it up and this is where you've got the expandable pocket which I think is just absolutely adorable. And then you open this up and you've got another little pocket. So you could end up with three pockets um, depending on how you glue that within the journal. But I love this little project. It's quick, it's easy, and you know that's my favorite. <laughs> so let's get started guys. First thing you're going to want to do is you've got to have a 12 by 12 sheet of paper. And with that 12 by 12, I managed to get two of these out of it. So that is just awesome. <laughs> so the first thing you want to do is cut this at three and a quarter inch. By 12. And then you are going to want to have to do another one at three and a quarter. And so you want a sheet that's three and a quarter by three inches. That's going to give you the little pocket. And then you're going to want to have a one and a half inch. by three and seven eighths of an inch, okay? <clears throat> you need two of these. So that's what you end up with. You want four pieces. Okay, so now you're going to need be able to score these. So I recommend your scoring board because um, the cutters, they're not always accurate. So taking the long sheet, laying it out with the 12 inch up here, you're going to score this at one and three quarter of an inch. Whoops. One and three quarter five and three quarter, ten and three eighths, and then ten and a half, and that's going to give you just a little bit of um, room at the top here so that that will expand. Oh, that's not a good one to show you here. You've got that just about a, an eighth of an inch so that that will expand with that pocket. Okay, so that one's scored there, and on the three and a quarter side, you're going to go a quarter of an inch on three sides of this. And this is going to form the little pocket. And then on the 
this is the one and a half inch strip. We're going to <coughs> score this at three eighths. three quarters of an inch and then one and an eighth inch and you'll want to do both of those and that's going to give you the little gusset so three eighths it's tricky to hold these little pieces And I don't know about you guys, but I always have trouble with these, and that's at three quarter, and then one and eighth. I always, always have trouble with these little um, expanded strips. No matter how hard I try to be accurate, they always seem to end up one slightly bigger than another. It's just crazy, but anyways. All right. So the first thing you're going to do is go ahead and... burnish those score lines. I would recommend not using too heavy a paper with this um, because you don't want that bulk. You definitely don't want that bulk in the um, in the journal. Alright, so now I'm going to go ahead and round the corners because these are going to end up being the little flaps. Okay, so that's the top bit. That's how that's going to look. Okay, the problem, as you can see, this is not double-sided paper. Um, so I will probably do something to spruce that side up. All right, let's get our gusset in. First thing you want to do is fold that on that center line. Fold this up so that you end up with your hills, your hill and valley. That's how I remember when I'm doing these, is just mountains and valleys. Let's get some glue. I would recommend a couple of the little bulldog clips as well. Now, with this, make sure that you've got the mountain facing the center, and you're just going to put glue on one side of the paper to start because you want to get that into position before you uh, glue the other bit down. So now just line that up with the edge of the paper, I and mean, I'm sure you guys have done all this. Most, most people who have been crafting a while know how to do this, but I just thought this was such a cute little pocket. And when you're happy with that, just press that down, and let's get the other one in place before we glue it to the back. And remember, the mountain facing the inside of the pocket. Yep, that's good. So now we're just going to put a little bit of glue on that back Bit. Now, if you want to, you can use double-sided tape, but I'll be honest, this art glitter glue worked perfectly fine for holding this, but this is where those bulldog clips will come in. 
Just get that down, flip it over, secure that, and now just take a little clip and hold those until that dries just slightly. It won't take very long. In the meantime, we're working on the little pocket. Just go ahead and fold those on the score line, and then we're going to take some of this bulk out. So what I do, just to turn it over, I can see it a little bit easier, I just snip off the edge there. And that'll take that bulk out so that that pocket's going to lie down flat. And the other thing I want to do is I want to just put a little notch in there, just to make it a little bit easier to get things in and out. Okay. So we know this is the top because because it's got the little eighth of an inch, um, you know, double score there. So this is where we're going to put the pocket. Just going to add a little bit of glue to that. And now I want to have a a little uh, tab there. So what I do with that is just this is a one inch circle and then I've got a little template now to make sure I get those center because I've been terrible about that. So just punch that out. And then make sure you've got that where you want it there. And just use that as a little template to go ahead and punch that. Put your eyelet in there. Now if the white bothers you, <coughs> you might want to back this beforehand. I'm not bothered other than this strip here. I'm not mad on that. So, I right now, I'm going to go ahead and tweak that because I, I want some contrasting paper. Okay, let me just measure this quickly. That's, um, One and three quarter. Three quarter. Already forgotten what three one and three a uh, three and a quarter duh Ooh. all right make sure I got that right yeah I'm just gonna glue it and then I'll come back and punch that um, so yeah just be aware of that but it's tricky isn't it because Often if you get paper that's double-sided, it can be too bulky, and I don't like the thick for that. I like thick cardstock for my journal covers, that's great, but when you're working within the journal, it is a challenge to keep that from getting too thick. Alright, now I'm just going to round those corners off and hope... 
but that's going to be okay there. Yeah, that's come out fine, which is what I wanted there. Yeah, that's pretty. All right, so the only thing we got to do now, guys, is add a bit of string. Um, because, as I said, we're just going to keep these simple. And then we can add to... We can add more to it decorations once you get that in whatever journal you're going to use that just going to add a little bit of ink to that so here I'm just going to tie this off and like I said it's great because um, you could get two of these out of one sheet of paper and I just love this pocket I, I don't know I'm just going to partial to the um, the little coin envelopes. I, I'm always trying to find new little ways to, to add them, you know, little additions to the journal with these. Okay. And there you go, guys. How cute and quick and easy is that? And what's good about it? Like I said, you've got that little gusset, so you can add quite a lot to that. It just I just love it. And then you've got this other little pocket there. So, guys, I hope you've enjoyed that. Um, let me show you again the measurements. Let me see if I can just share... I should have wrote this down, I'm sorry, but there, in case you want to, let's take a, a screenshot, there's your measurements, and there's the score lines for each of those. So I hope that's helped, guys. I hope you've enjoyed that. I really love how these came out. I'm going to try to get some of these made up and, and um, tucked away for some journals, so take care. I will be back very soon with more projects. Bye, everybody.